May. May coincides with step five. Confession, if you will. Representing integrity after having the courage to face the truth about ourselves in order to move past our negatives and change for the better. Forward progress for what we thought was a no-win proposition. Hopefully, after doing this work, we are feeling a part of society today, no longer feeling separate from. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Happy, joyous, and free. May 24th. We are sure God wants us to be happy, joyous, and free. We cannot subscribe to the belief that this life is a veil of tears, though it once was just that for many of us. But it is clear that we made our own misery. God didn't do it. Avoid, then, the deliberate manufacture of misery. But if trouble comes, cheerfully capitalize it as an opportunity to demonstrate His omnipotence. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 133. For years, I believed in a punishing God and blamed Him for my misery. I have learned that I must lay down the weapons of self in order to pick up the tools of the Alcoholics Anonymous program. I do not struggle with the program because it is a gift, and I have never struggled when receiving a gift. If I sometimes keep on struggling, it is because I am still hanging on to my old ideas, and the results are nil. How long have we been without a drink? How long have we been without a selfish thought? Our higher power wants the best for us, and we have shut him out with our self-centered fears. Many of us do not survive our own controlling egos. We die before the miracle happens. We've seen many not make it, and we don't know why we are chosen, but we won't risk it by not sharing our experience, strength, and hope with others. If newcomers could see no joy or fun in our existence, they wouldn't want it. We absolutely insist on enjoying life. We try not to indulge in cynicism over the state of the nations, nor do we carry the world's troubles on our shoulders. When we see a man sinking into the mire that is alcoholism, we give him first aid and place what we have at his disposal. For his sake, We do recount and almost relive the horrors of our past. But those of us who have tried to shoulder the entire burden and trouble of others find we are soon overcome by them. So, we think cheerfulness and laughter make for usefulness. Outsiders are sometimes shocked when we burst into merriment over a seemingly tragic experience out of the past. But why shouldn't we laugh? We have recovered and have been given the power to help others. Sobriety is about thriving, not just surviving, not going through life thinking about not drinking. We recovered alcoholics rarely think about drinking unless we are in a meeting or talking to a newcomer. We didn't get sober to be miserable, and that is why the AA program works. We find our desires now are to be of maximum service to others, that we get great satisfaction by helping others. Our mindsets are focused on how we can help others in any way. The third step says, in this drama of life, God is the director. We are his agent, and we know we are benefited by being his messenger. We are not telling our ideas. We are relating our experience of how his direction, his message, saved us from alcoholic misery. There is little to no drama in God's world. We create the drama when we think we are in control. Giving up living on self-will frees us to be human. He is in charge, and living accordingly, our lives are peaceful and harmonious with others. Our stress level is greatly reduced. We sleep better and feel better. After all, isn't that how life should be? Happy, joyous, and free. May 24th. 
We are sure God wants us to be happy, joyous, and free. We cannot subscribe to the belief that this life is a veil of tears, though it once was just that for many of us. But it is clear that we made our own misery. God didn't do it. Avoid, then, the deliberate manufacture of misery. But if trouble comes, cheerfully capitalize it as an opportunity to demonstrate His omnipotence. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 133. For years, I believed in a punishing God and blamed Him for my misery. I have learned that I must lay down the weapons of self in order to pick up the tools of the Alcoholics Anonymous program. I do not struggle with the program because it is a gift, and I have never struggled when receiving a gift. If I sometimes keep on struggling, it is because I am still hanging on to my old ideas and the results are nil. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.